Hey what's going on guys, it's Combo here. Today I'm bringing you guys some more Black Ops 2 Wii U footage and I'm bringing you a team deathmatch on Yemen this time with the MP7 and a silencer. So right off the spawn here I'm rushing to their side, see if I can catch them off guard. It's what I usually like to do in team deathmatch. Um, it's what they don't expect so these guys were taken off, off guard pretty much my first few kills here. This guy especially trying to camp in a corner, get out of there buddy with that uh, sniper. So. I'm rushing over here, I think I'm using lightweight and extreme conditioning, so something I like to do with some machine guns especially is just to put on some fast moving classes, some you know extremely fast uh, mobility I guess you could say, lightweight, dexterity, all that kind of stuff, extreme conditioning. And I think in Call of Duty Ghosts, um, the mobility category for perks, if you guys um, have seen the perks for Call of Duty Ghosts, there's a lot of pretty cool um, increased movement kind of perks where they help you move around the map quicker. I think I'm definitely going to be a, a bigger fan of those. I can't wait to get my hands on that. Maybe even use have one class that uses all five of the uh, movement perks, but we'll see. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about uh, Call of Duty Ghost for the Wii U. Unfortunately, as of yesterday or the day before, I'm not quite sure, um, Call of Duty has officially taken off the free fall uh, little emblem thingy on the bottom right hand side of the Wii U pre-order page on the Call of Duty website. Now this isn't a surprise to me, like I said, a few people were actually, you know, saying we're actually going to get the Wii U, um, you know, free fall bonus map, but uh, like I said earlier when I made a few videos back, you know, back uh, a few weeks ago or whatever, I, I, I kind of expected this from the start. This is what happened last year with Nuketown 2025. Um, I don't think that the Wii U will be receiving any downloadable content again this time, and this is kind of just the first step in, d in it, I guess you could say, is just not receiving any of the pre-order bonuses or customization packs or anything like that. Um, but in terms of pre-ordering it for the Wii U, you still can't get the Harden or Prestige Edition, you can only get the Standard Edition. And uh, on GameStop.com, they actually have this thing where if you pre-order it, they say you get a, a free personalization uh, downloadable pack for Black Ops 2, but clearly that's not true either because we haven't received any, um, you know, microtransaction little packs with the extra camos and all that kind of stuff on the Wii U. We've, re we've received literally no downloadable, downloadable content as you guys know up till this point. So, um, you know, like I said, for those guys who pre-ordered it thinking you would receive the bonus map, I'm sorry to disappoint, but, you know, I, I this, this was expected. I kind of expected this from the start. Look at me trying to find this guy. Where is he? Where is he? He's playing hide and go seek and somehow he, he ended up outside so I go chase him outside and spray him down. I almost got sniped there but uh, regardless, I'm um, using the the escort drone as well. I don't really use high scoring uh, score streaks in in this um, game type TDM and I think I get taken out here. Just one second. I get too caught up in that, in that guy uh, trying to take him out in the building across from me that I didn't really see the the VSAT behind me so uh, yeah like like I was saying you know it's it's not a surprise to me it's not a shock that we're that we uh, aren't gonna be receiving the the bonus map but at this point I think anyone who plays Call of Duty on the Wii U kind of expects that we won't be receiving any downloadable content no matter what so they're kind of, we're kind of used to it at this point and uh, hopefully you know maybe in the future we will but not as of right now and I don't think we will be receiving any DLC for ghosts either but that's just me. That's just my thoughts. What are you guys' thoughts about all of this? All about this miscommunication again on the company's behalf of you know saying we will be receiving a bonus map and then not. Um, it's just a little bit confusing to me why they can never just get it right from the start. But uh, I guess at the same time we should be a little bit happy that we are even getting a Wii Wii U version to the game or whatever. But for Call of Duty Ghosts, I just want a few more things. I don't I don't really care if we don't get downloadable content or anything like that. Obviously, that's a that's a huge downside to playing Call of Duty on a Nintendo console is the lack of DLC and the lack of support even for that for that matter. But um, one thing I would just really really want for Call of Duty Ghost, if I could have one thing in the game, it would be a an increase in players. And I, I hope that we have a lot more players playing Call of Duty Ghost than we did for Black Ops 2 uh, for a few reasons. The one thing that I did like about Black Ops 2 is that it was obviously a lot more smooth than any Call of Duty game on a Nintendo console before, but there was just not that many game types available to play. Even Search and Destroy was tough to get into a few a few times when I tried to play it, so I rarely ever even played Search and Destroy due to that, that fact right there. Hardpoint, too. I would love to have played Hardpoint a lot more, and that's a competitive game type. It's, it's a lot of fun to play competitively, 
and all that kind of stuff but you know even league play I would love to play league play as well I used to do game battles in the past um, and you know since since there's just a lack of players on on the game there's no league play matches there's no like search and destroy there's no hard point headquarters all those game types are just thrown out the window and pretty much you only have TDM domination and like you know free-for-all and all that kind of that's pretty much what it comes down to so it's a little bit unfortunate how that works out like I said I would just want maybe like 15 20 25,000 people online which is gonna be a lot but you know it with black ops 2 like like I said in previous videos the most I've seen online was like four or five thousand so it's unfortunate and you know I, I think with Call of Duty Ghost 2 there's so many new features that's gonna be a lot of fun with the squads mode and your new clans and all that kind of stuff and I would love to form a clan or, or a squad here on Call of Duty Ghost for the Wii U and maybe interact with subscribers and all that kind of stuff but it's gonna be hard to form a clan or a squad if there's no other squads or few like if there's only a few other squads out there trying to you know go out there and do their thing or fight other clans or something like that so that's what that's my wish list I guess for Call of Duty Ghost just more players and that's just me guys if if you could have anything when it comes down to Call of Duty Ghosts on the Wii U what would you want would you want better controller support would you want more patches um, you know all that kind of stuff but we we did receive a few things we are gonna have infected this time around which is I'm excited about because we didn't have that in Modern Warfare 3 so infected is a really fun game type if you're just looking to to relax and play Call of Duty not really try hard or anything like that but that's pretty much it guys look at that pro kill cam with the target finder beast sitting in a corner there spraying but uh, thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed let me know what your wish list is for Call of Duty Ghosts on the Wii U that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all later thanks for watching